Now let's talk about question number 12. Why do you think the zygote is dormant? The zygote is dormant for some time in a fertilized ovule. So yes, zygote is dormant for some time in angiospermic flowers. But why is it dormant? Why it is dormant? The question is asking why the zygote is dormant for some time in a fertilized ovule. So we know that double fertilization is a unique feature of all angiospermic plants. Double fertilization involves syngamy as well as triple fusion. Syngamy is a fusion of male and female gamete and triple fusion is a fusion of three haploid nucleus, two polar nuclei and one nucleus of a male gamete. All right. So double fertilization which is a unique feature of angiosperms will lead to the formation double fertilization inside the double fertilization the syngamy and triple fusion we are talking about all right so this double fertilization leads to the formation of a zygote and primary endosperm nucleus simultaneously all right so this double fertilization leads to the formation of zygote and primary endosperm nucleus simultaneously this primary endosperm nucleus this primary endosperm nucleus divides to form a large nutritive endosperm this primary endosperm nucleus which is made from the fusion of three haploid nucleus this undergoes division this undergoes several mitotic divisions to form a large nutritive endosperm for developing an embryo all right this ensures this ensures the uh, source of nutrition for and uh, for developing an embryo the formation of endosperm which is a large nutritive tissue is actually ensures the source of nutrition for developing an embryo and this ensures because of this because of this only the zygote is actually dormant for some time in a fertilized ovule so that when the embryo gets developed when the embryo is developing it will have sufficient amount of nutrition from endosperm that is why the zygote remains dormant in a fertilized ovule so now let's talk about or let's see how we can write the answer of this what do you think the zygote is dormant so double fertilization we will start our answer double fertilization double fertilization leads we know that double fertilization is having two processes such as syngamy and triple fusion so double fertilization leads to the formation to the formation of a zygote and primary endosperm nucleus and primary endosperm nucleus all right so double fertilization leads to the formation of zygote and primary endosperm nucleus this primary endosperm nucleus this primary endosperm nucleus divides to form divides to form a large nutritive a large nutritive endosperm this primary endosperm nucleus which is made from the triple fusion will undergo several mitotic divisions to form a large nutritive endosperm endosperm which serves as why this has been made which serves as so that it can serve nutrition which can serve as the source of nutrition the source of nutrition for developing an embryo for developing an embryo all right so to ensure this to ensure that the developing embryo will have 
sufficient amount of nutrition the zygote remains dormant in a fertilized ovule so to ensure the nutrition ensure the nutrition for an embryo for an embryo the zygote the zygote remains dormant for some time remains dormant for some time in a fertilized ovule in a fertilized ovule what happens actually when the fertilization takes place in flowers in angiospermic plants the double fertilization such as syngamy and triple fusion which are occurring simultaneously inside the embryo sac of a flower all right so what happens when syngamy occurs it will lead to the formation of a zygote soon after the become soon after becoming zygote it will not undergo mitotic divisions to form an embryo it will remain in that stage the zygote will remain as a zygote only for some time so that the primary endosperm nucleus which is resulted from the fusion of three nucleuses such as triple fusion can divide mitotically to form a large nutritive tissue so that a developing embryo can have sufficient nutrition from that endosperm that this is why that is why the zygote remains dormant so that developing embryo can have sufficient amount of nutrition from endosperm so this is the complete solution of question number 12